So I'm here with Councillor Mark Balls from Hinkley and Bosworth Borough Council. Could you introduce yourself and maybe tell us a bit about what you do? Of course. So, like I said, I'm Mark and I've been back in Hinkley and Bosworth now for about five or six years. And before that, I was born the other side of Leicester in Thermiston. Um, but what drove me to come back here really was sort of the rural life I live now. I live in a little village in Hinkley and Bosworth with my children. And it was about coming back and seeing the countryside a little bit smaller. I lived in London before, which was busy. And that sort of led me actually to becoming a councillor. It was that real sense of wanting to make a difference. It's a small village. Um, I was one of those people that shouted at the television screen and you know, typed on the computer. And I thought, actually, what can I do to make a difference rather than just shouting and typing? Mm. So I became a councillor. And yeah, I haven't looked back. It's It's been amazing to make a difference difference actually to the people I know my neighbours you know my friends and family within the village so yeah it's been good it's been a good five years now. What an amazing thing to do so this is going to be the first in a series of podcasts which we want to give um, to help you to give a look into what various teams in the council will be working on so today obviously we're going to be talking about tourism why tourism? Well, it's a really good time to talk about tourism. We just recently updated the strategy that it covers the next four years. That's 2024 all the way up to 2028. And it actually makes a massive difference to actually how we all live our lives. It's a huge part of the economy locally, a big employer as well. So it's a it's a really pertinent thing to be talking about at the moment, for sure. So why is tourism so important to Hinkley and Bosworth in particular? Yeah, and I think it comes down to how many people it employs first and foremost. You know, we've got over 2,200 people being employed within tourism. That covers the whole borough, you know, from here in Hinkley all the way back up to, to Grooby and Markfield right at the top of the borough. Um, and also the money it brings in, that's over £220 million, which wow. is a huge impact, you know, on the local economy. So the more we can do to encourage that, I think it can only benefit all of us. So what are your favourite places to visit in the borough then? Where would you tell people to go and visit if you were talking to someone from outside the borough? Yeah. Or perhaps someone inside the borough as well that has never been there before? Well, I think that's the amazing thing about Hinkley and Bosworth in general. There's so much to do. Um, so depending on what you're interested in, I think you can find something to do. I know personally, I'm a big fan of the Ashby Canal. There's a great walk you can do all the way along it. They're trying to join it back up to Moira right at the top. So that's only developing and getting bigger. Um, you know, across the road from us here, you've got the Hinkley Museum, which is a great local attraction. And obviously we're famous for Richard III. So now you've got the Exhibition Centre, you've got the Battlefield. Uh, but then there's the shops, you know, you've got art, you've got shops included in that. And I think, um, like I said, whatever you actually want to do, you could probably find it here to uh, mm. enjoy and, yeah, and, and make a long weekend, hopefully, out of staying here. Yeah, there's loads more to see and do than people would might expect. Yeah, for sure. And I think it's it's seeing that. I think sometimes you come, you'll come and visit the, uh, the battlefield for a day. Yeah. But I think one of the big things we want to try and do is encourage people to actually stay longer. I think the beautiful thing about Hinkley and Bosworth is, is where it's positioned. If you think about it geographically, mm. we're in between Birmingham, we've got Leicester. So if you go to the Space Centre for a day, there's no reason you can't come across and, and come and visit us and see what we have to offer. Um, you know, thinking the other way, I know my kids, they love uh, Birmingham. We went yeah. to Cadbury's World and, and, you know, it's not too far from there. It's only an hour down the road. So whatever you're doing locally, I think you can always fit in a visit to, to us here. Um, you know, one big thing I didn't mention my children love is, is Twycross Zoo. Mm. And, and that's another great reason to, to come because it's not just a fun attraction. There's some great work being done scientifically up there. And a little shout out to where I am. You know, we've got Tropical Birdland. I can't <laughs> forget that one. So if you like parrots, I think that's a great one for you there. So people have visited these places for an impressive 4.1 million tourist days in 2022. What's the council doing to get even more visitors over the next four or five years, say? Yeah. And, and I think the key is making them stay longer. Yeah. So it's those individual days that add up to that. And what we know is that, that people generally come for a day and then they go and do something else. And I think the more we can do to encourage them to stay longer, um, I think the better. So that starts with providing more accommodation. Um, I've got a camper van myself. So we've got mm -hmm. some brilliant camping. You know, Etty's Field won an award recently, a tourism award. So, you know, there's great places to stay. So whatever you want to do, B&B, &B, camping, hotels, we actually have it all. So the more we can encourage that, the more we can provide, the better. Um, you know, thinking about it physically as well, we know that people now have changed their habits. So, you know, going on TripAdvisor to get some recommendations. So the more people can access that, the better. Um, booking online. Um, you know, there's a real drive to maybe take away from that traditional how people would treat tourism just to be a bit more update and, and to see the potential that, you know, becoming a bit more tech savvy with that brings. 
So what can we expect to see? And perhaps you could tell us about what you're most excited about as well. Yeah, and I think it really comes down to you know, the four things we know were really important when we put the strategy together. One is making people stay longer. Mm-hmm. So I'm hoping we see more places to stay, whether that be camping, uh, hotels, B&Bs, Airbnbs is a big drive. You know, we see lots of our farms, especially around me, you know, transitioning into that, you know, changing barns into, into accommodation. It's a it's a real flex that farms can do to make more money and it, and it helps us with the tourism as well. Um, you know, thinking about making it more accessible. Yeah. People have a varying amount of needs and we need to meet them where they're at. So whatever we can do to make that possible. Um, and obviously that that really will help bring more people in. If we can make it accessible, approachable, um, that will make a huge, huge difference. Um, we're really proud as well of the work we do um, at the Council on Climate Change and making it low impact on the environment, you know, as carbon neutral as we possibly can. Um, you know, and that will, that will hopefully make a difference in the longer term when we have ambitions around climate change. So quick fire questions now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what does the area have for perhaps animal lovers say? Well, I've mentioned two. We've got Chwaikor Zoo, um, which is amazing. And then Tropical Birdland, I would say. Um, but obviously for animal lovers as well, you've got so many walks that, that, you know, that crisscross the countryside. So you might see a random fox walk by you. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, Chwaikor Zoo and Tropical Birdland are going to go for there. And what about history buffs? Yeah, well, I'll start at Richard III, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you could spend easily a day or two there just exploring, one, the fields themselves, but the amazing visitor centre. Um, today, Rin Atkins building recording this, and I was reading about Ada Lovelace. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I think it's an amazing amount of history that probably under our nose that even people who live here have never experienced. And um, what about petrol heads as well? We're lucky. We have a couple of options again. So we've got Triumph just around the corner from here. They've got a brilliant museum. So that's all your motorcycle needs. And closer to me where I live, um, we've got uh, Kirby Marley uh, Racetrack. And I think that's a fantastic place for a day out. They have amazing events up there. Fireworks night, if you want some good fireworks, that's always a good place to go as well. And is there anything perhaps for the culture vultures among us? Yeah, well, I love my arts. Um, so again, you've got fantastic exhibitions here at the Atkins Building all the time. The art changes. We have a really good working relationship with the college who who constantly display students' art. Um, but obviously the Concordia Theatre, um, they have some amazing local performances and also people who come and visit. So whatever you're interested in, I would say, you probably could find something for sure. What about the fitness lovers? What would you recommend they do, perhaps? Okay. Uh, (laughs) As you can tell, maybe not my natural sort of flex into fitness, but I do think it's really important. Um, So obviously we've got the new leisure centre that's fabulous. We've got the gym there. Um, But actually, if you just want to walk and enjoy it, we have um, got Park Run up in Market Bosworth at the country park there. Burbage Common, it's beautiful. Have a walk, walk the dogs. Um, I've got a coffee shop there as well, obviously, which I love. (laughs) But um, whatever you want to do, however you want to keep fit, we can meet those needs for sure. And if people are perhaps searching a bit more for peace and quiet, where are the areas in the borough where they can go for that peace and quiet, that stillness? Yeah, and, and I think I'll start with Burbage Common. Mm. Um, it's so big. I think if you could walk around there and see someone, um, sometimes you don't see anyone at all, so it's beautiful. You've got Ashby Canal. Um, that's one of my favourite things to do. Sunday morning, really early. Um, there's nothing better, I think, than a bit of water for a bit of tranquility. Um, and then you've got the Sculpture Trail, which is coming. And I think that's going to be a really beautiful place to sit and reflect look at a bit of art in the process so there's some options there that sounds perfect and i'm going to put you on the spot a little bit with this one okay what is your favorite little known place which may not be so little known after you reveal it look at this i got pressure now um <laughs> i think for me i love my food and mm. i think there's some really beautiful places to eat uh, and somewhere i know me and my family love to visit is the windmill um it's in newbold verdon um not many people know it. it's a bit off the beaten track but you know when you go there you remember it the food's brilliant the atmosphere is lovely and from there it's right in the middle of the borough so you can actually go for a walk in market bosworth come to hinkley do some shopping so it's a really good place to start your adventure from perfect and so if our listeners or viewers wanted to find out more about tourism in hinkley and bosworth where would you direct them to where can they find out more yeah, so we've got a website that's Richard the Third Country. So uh, Richard I I I Country uh, dot com. So please go and visit that, and also just go to the council website. And um, there's so much information there that actually, yeah, you'll you'll never run dry. There's always something to go and look at and do and experience.
Thank you for that. And is there perhaps anything else you'd like to add before we tie this up? I, I would just say come and try and see what we have to offer. It's an amazing place. The people are friendly. Whether you want to eat, go for a walk, look at some arts, whatever it is, there is something. And, and stay longer, experience it. It's a really good play, uh, place to have a base from. If you want to go to Leicester, if you want to go to Birmingham, to Nottingham, to Derby, um, actually, it's a really good place to centre yourself and start from. So that would be my recommendation you're brilliant at selling it as well oh, so. I try. <laughs> thank you so much for your time today um really appreciate it thank no, you thank you thank you very much 